Howdy, I'm Matt, and in this video we are going to be discussing glues for RC. Now in front of us you'll see a whole collection of different glue types, and these can be broken down into just three different types of glue. And it's really, really simple, and this is how I class them. You have rubberized glue, you have hard glue, you have and you have contact adhesive, and uh, actually technically you have a fourth one which is called dirty hot glue, uh, which we will get to in a moment. Now, I, I definitely do have my favourites uh, when it comes to glue, and the reason for that is just ease of use, really. Uh, and what we're going to do, we're gonna actually going to go round the table, and we're going to go through some of the positives and also some of the negatives for each of the types of glue. So let's start with this family here, which is a rubberized type of glue. So we've got Zap Goo, uh, we've got Goop Plumbing Glue, which is normally the one which you want to go for if you can get your hands on. Uh, those of you which are in the United States, this will be very, very cheap, and you'll probably be able to pick it up in Walmart or somewhere like that. This is a tube which I, I've uh, obviously been using quite a lot. Uh, we also have uh, this as well, which is E6000. Now, you can buy this off Banggood, and I've, been, I've bought several tubes of this lately uh, and this is uh, very very good stuff and then basically the only difference between these three types excluding price uh, and obviously brands uh, is that uh, these two here are thicker and this one's thinner okay so viscosity is the posh word uh, basically E6000 is quite uh, runny uh, and is as such very quite uh, quite easy to use now when do I use E6000 glue? I use it on almost exclusively EPP foam, okay? So just be fully aware when it comes to EPO foam uh, is that it has been known for E6000 glue to actually melt it, okay? So do spot check this if you're using EPO foam. EPP, you'll be perfectly fine. Uh, and that definitely is my go-to glue. Also a nice little quirk of E6000 glue is that it does seem to penetrate uh, the actual uh, foam itself and it makes a more of a stronger uh, foam. The best example is the uh, EPP Eagle, uh, is that, that's a very thin foam, uh, EPP foam, uh, which they used and I covered it, literally just smeared it on with a, an ID card or a spreader uh, and then it penetrates the foam and it made the nose really, really robust. So I like E5, E6000, I like Goop Glue uh, and I like Goo Zap, uh, well Zap Goo uh, a lot because it's very versatile and it is my go-to glue for EPP foam. Now, moving around the table, we then have what I class as hard glues. Now, the one glue out of this whole table which I really despise, okay, is the Gorilla Glue. So apologies for putting a big shadow on there. So this the, the Gorilla Glue which I'm talking about is the brown stuff. Uh, you add water to it or mix, put water on the other parts and then put some of this on the other part. So you've got two parts together brown glue on that one, water on that one, put it together and then it foams up. Now, some people, okay, obviously not yourself, feel that because it foams up and it, it fills in gaps, that that makes it super strong. Now, that is not my point of view at all. What I find is that those air bubbles are very, very weak uh, and in the models which I've used it, I've not been very impressed with. Also, you need to go extremely careful with this glue, and uh, not because it's particularly poisonous, it's just because it just oozes everywhere. Uh, and people use it as a gap filler, uh, and to be honest, you in most instances, well, you can see I've had this box bottle for apps, well, years. <laughs> You know, and that's how much I've used. I'm not a fan of it at all. Uh, I did do some glue tests a while back, uh, and because it's pushed the two bits of foam apart, uh, it didn't do a very good joint, and it was very, very easy to break the joint apart. So I'm not a fan of brand Gorilla Glue. I know that will upset some of you which are watching this, but that's just my experience. It's just not strong enough for the RC applications which I've been using it. Let's move on. Epoxy glue, epoxy, two part epoxies. So you've got five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. They just basically how fast they quick go off. And again, how fast can you mix it up and then get it into the model quickly uh, is basically the short summary. The, the last time I used this uh, was inside the Rare Bear uh, to, uh, to fill up a, like a little well. 
to make sure that two pieces of carbon fiber stuck together. I very, very rarely use epoxy. That's uh, the only other instance which I would personally use epoxy uh, is that uh, maybe I was doing some fiberglassing. Okay, that's the only other time which I would do it. And the reason why I would rarely use this is because of the Yoohoo piss, which is over here. Now, moving around, we have just normal CA glue. So this is some Super Gold from Hobby King. Doesn't really matter on the brand. It's all exactly the same stuff. The only difference between it uh, is the viscosity again, how liquid or how runny it is. Personally, I prefer the medium stuff. Uh, also, do look out for, you'll see it written on there, if I can catch it right, foam safe. That's really, really important. Some CA glues will melt uh, foams, EPP and EPO. So do go very, very careful. Make sure you look for the ones which say foam safe. Uh, Hobby King is obviously a good source for CA glue. Now, those of you which use core flute, okay, and if you... You, if you know if you know what core flute is, it's just that plastic for sale for sale sign stuff. If you're looking for a glue to stick for sale signs together or core flute, this is the stuff. It is the absolute nuts. It's 3M Scotch Weld SF100. Lightly sand the two surfaces, give it a little dab with that, and it will never come apart again. Absolutely brilliant. So those of you which like to make core fleet models, the Scotch World SF100 is the absolute nuts. Now this brings us two more. Uh, Yoohoo Power, you can buy this in the pound shops or the dollar stores. Uh, go very, very, very careful with this stuff. I've, I've put this tube up here on purpose. This is Yoohoo Power. This stuff is not foam friendly. I need to repeat this. This stuff is not foam friendly the reason why i bought these because i bought two two or three tubes because they're only a pound each uh, and then i discovered that they melt foam okay so do go very very careful with this stuff uh, and as such uh, i only use it for non real non rc applications but there's no foam included now the other stuff is you who pour now you can typically buy this on ebay or amazon uh, and as much as I moan about this so, and call it Yoohoo Piss Pour, uh, and by the way, it's called Yoohoo Piss Pour to me because the, while this glue has got a mild yellow colour to it, is that once it sees sunlight, it will go a pea colour. Uh, literally, that yellow colour and look like you, your model's wet itself down, it seems. That said, both of these glues, the, both the, the Power uh, and the Yoohoo Pour, are both contact adhesives. Now, I'm... I don't always use Yoohoo Pour as a contact adhesive. Uh, now, what do we mean about contact adhesive? Basically, you undo the lid, you put it on the two parts you want to do, stick them together, mash them together, then put them on the side for 10 minutes. Now, honestly, do wait. If, you have to, if you've got two parts which are flat going together, then uh, and that's all they're going to be doing, do wait a couple of minutes just for the glue to dry because it is a contact adhesive, and when it sticks together, it really does weld together. Really, really good glue. That said, there are instances where I have, uh, and I do frequently use Yuhu uh, Pour, uh, to join two parts together, but I do not wait for the two surfaces to dry and use it as a true contact adhesive. Instead, what I can do, uh, and I think I've got a good example, those of you which know about a wing wing Z84, you'll know that the wing has got some awkward angles, and if you set, if you use that glue as a contact adhesive, uh, is that you, it would stick by the time you get the wing in because of the awkward angles. So what I do in circumstances like that is Put, make sure it's very well spread all along the surfaces, tack it together and it will start getting stringy and then just stick it together, tape or then just pin it uh, and then just leave it overnight to dry. Okay, that has worked really, really well for me. Uh, and the reason why I'm telling you about this is because Yoohoo Pour is very, very easily sourced anywhere, uh, pretty much in the world. Uh, you can get it on eBay, you get it on Amazon, wherever. Okay, and it's also cheap. I was only talking about a pound fifty, three pound a tube, something like that. Not a lot of money, okay, per tube. And by the way, uh, if you are shopping on eBay or Amazon, look for multi packs or like five of these tubes or more, because that's when it gets really, really cheap. 
And that brings us to our last glue, which is I class as dirty hot glue. And as much as I can complain about dirty hot glue, it does work really, really well. Uh, it works on all foam types, EPS, EPO, EPP. The only thing which I would say about uh, hot glue is that it can't really be used where there's any heat because aka it's called hot glue, thus it melts when it gets near heat. Uh, also, if you're using it on a model like the Micro Sky Hunter or the Reptile uh, S800, is that you must make sure that you really, really do sand those surfaces uh, because hot glue does not stick very well and very few glues stick very well to uh, mold release so do go very very careful with that uh, besides that hot glue the only negative which i can say is that if you've got a it's no good with large areas okay so because if you're thinking about a wing which you're trying to glue up the edge is that you've got to get hot glue all the way along the edge all around all the things and then get the two parts together and for the glue not to be hot enough to melt the actual foam which are all the parts which you're trying to stick together. So hot glue is, uh, and a hot glue gun, and by this way, this one cost me like $4 off Banggood, um, really, really good thing. Anyway, is that uh, it's very, very versatile. It sticks pretty much anything to anything. It's quite child-friendly, uh, and this one is powered off an XT60, uh, just off a normal LiPo battery. Hot glue, very versatile is probably the best uh, yeah, uh, way of explaining hot glue. That said, uh, my two or three types of... I'll, I'll try and give you some like scenarios. I, I mentioned about you who pour. It's like a contact adhesive. I use it more frequently than what I'd, I'd probably admit to. I, I do... It's not... Because it's so cheap and so readily available here, especially, uh, is that I do use it an awful lot. Uh, you uh, E6 fans and absolutely love it because it works so so well uh, with EPP foam. Uh, also, I, I use it for waterproofing as well uh, because it just hates water. It really does hate water, uh, and anything which is going to get wet, you put a coat on that on it, and it is never you no water's ever getting in there. Uh, mind you, nothing is going to get in there after you've put E6000 glue on it. Uh, the one glue which I really do not like out of all these is definitely the uh, Gorilla Glue, and I know that'll upset some people me saying that, but it's not a good glue for RC as far as I'm personally concerned. CA glue, it didn't really get much of a spotlight but I do use it frequently. I use it uh, maybe on, uh, if you think about a control horn with one of the little adapters on the end where you've got the screw going through, I will put a little dab of CA glue on the end of the thread just to make sure it's not coming undone. Epoxy, very very rarely used. Honestly, my go-to glues are Yoohoo Piss Poor, as much as I complain about it, E6000, and a little bit of dirty hot glue. So with that said, do let me know what your favourite glue is, and why. let me know why it is your favourite glue. Uh, and you can do that down in the comments section, because these are my views about glues, but I'm sure some of you will think that brand Gorilla Glue is the... Gorilla's nuts, you know? But for me, it's not. Let me know what your thoughts are on glue. Have I been accurate in my descriptions? Uh, you can share your views down in the comments sections underneath this video. So with that said, from myself, Matt, thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video. <laughs> Spit my words out. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. And I'll see you again shortly. Cheerios.